previously on Dan Level's YouTube channel. I'm gonna add a color source for the background. What we notice here is that actually no, it added some black just to create the panel. But it doesn't seem to wrap around the alpha or the transparency of our PNG image, which is a shame. It would be cool. Exaldro, Horikin, if you <laughs> if you guys are watching this, it would be awesome. I don't know if it's possible, but it would be really cool. Well, looks like I wasn't paying attention because Horikin dropped an update in November. Instead of 3D panel, it is now 3D block and it should accept transparency. So what you want to do is go to that drive. You will see some English instructions, but basically download the zip file right here, unzip it, and you'll see two .lua files, 3D panel and 3D block. Now in OBS Studio, you can go to tools, scripts, and basically load up that script by pressing the plus, finding your 3D block, and clicking open. All right. So most important thing here is to test the transparency because that's what was missing from the original 3D panel. I'm gonna upload an image that has transparency. Let's say this Discord logo, oh, this is huge. Let's control F to make it fit, go to filters, and let's add our 3D block. Oh, okay. <laughs> that took a while to load. I thought my OBS crashed for a little bit. And uh, would you look at that? It, it works. We have a 3D Discord logo. So the options are pretty much the same as the one before. I have a video on it, but uh, there's an option called back texture that I see here. And I'm guessing it allows you to add a background image. Oh no, never mind. It actually allows you, if I can, to put a texture on the back. Yo, that's cool. Wait, but that also means that you can use one image for your transparency and then a separate image for the back texture. Does it allow animated? textures. Nah, it doesn't seem like it. It's not showing me my gifts. All right. But other question is, does this allow animated images to be extruded in a 3D block? So what we can do is just switch out the image. And I have this GIF of the Twitch bits. Let's open it, click OK. And it seems like it is working. Let's play around with it some more. Whoa, yo, this is <laughs> this is wild. This is wild. Look at that. So if you have an animated logo, it'll work. So is that easy to swap? Oh, wait, whoa. Okay, this looks cool. <laughs> this looks cool. Wait, 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 wait. Yo, this is a flat image of a gun, by the way. This is a flat gun. Like without 3D block, this is what it is. That's all it is. I guess it's slightly tilted, but 3D block, boom. You can have some cool animation for your alerts and stuff. This is nice. Let me remove the background. That is very interesting. Let me add a color source in the back to make sure everything is visible. But wow, this is uh, this is it. This is the state of OBS Studio. You can do things like that. Of course, it's not perfect. You know, it's not a whole 3D software or anything, but it's pretty cool that you can have that. One thing I know is that for my video about the knife boxes that you can get randomly and stuff, you can actually create your own in OBS Studio. Matter of fact, let's um, let's try to do that. We're just going to go on Google and try to find a knife with some transparency. Of course, here we're just going to have some depth. We're not going to have, you know, the fancy reflection of the material. But to be fair, it could be a start. Let's save this one. All right, I'll just double click and replace it. All right, here it is. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Look at that. Look at that. So the way it works is that it repeats the pixels, but you know, let's make it a little thinner. That's not horrible. It is not horrible, especially if it's going to be just, you know, small animated stuff that pops on screen and then leaves. You can get away with that easily. Oh, I have C Gamers logo. Look at that. Look at that. It's wild. Like, it's still wild to me that you can do this in OBS Studio. And if it feels flat, you can use the Stroke Glow Shadow plugin and add some shadows. Again, not perfect, but we are talking about OBS Studio here. <laughs> After all. Now, if you have a minimum of skills in Photoshop, probably Canva, Photopea, Affinity Studio, you can start creating some pretty interesting stuff and you can also layer this effect. All right. So let's say you run like a podcast in OBS Studio and you would like to make some lower thirds to show your guests names or their social media profiles. You could export this transparent background, boom, and have it be 3D and little animated, but you can also export them separately maybe in three different chunks. So let me do that. We'll export the social media logo. We'll export this part, then this part, and finally this part. Now back in OBS Studio, we're gonna imagine a podcast setup. Oh, before all that, um, the first thing I should have tested was actually the text. We'll just put normal OBS text. Let's call this podcast. Here we talk, pick a font. All right, let's center that and we'll see the effect on text. 
since it takes into account transparency. Oh yeah, look at that. So if you bump up the scale, you're gonna have more of that like perspective distortion. This looks pretty cool actually. Play with the thickness, just tilt it. You can probably have an animation like that. Let's make it wiggle. Damn, the wiggle is very noticeable on text. Okay, let's lower it a little bit. All right, so that's the title of our podcast. We'll try to center it a little bit better here. We have guest number one and guest number two. And now let's put their name tag. We'll put our first part, keep it up there. I'm just gonna copy, paste duplicate, double click, switch it up, right click, paste duplicate, double click, switch it up. And just like that, we have our three parts for the name tag. I'm gonna select them, place them where I want. I might group them first, just so I can resize them together, like so. And then individually go and add my 3D block filter. It seemed to have disappeared because it's behind this, but don't worry. We're going to go ahead and make it wiggle. And then we can right click on the source, copy filters, right click on the second one, paste filters, right click on the third one and paste filters. Now selecting the whole group, we can bump it up again. And we have a 3D tag where it's kind of moving. Let me make it big. It's moving individually, as you can see. You might want to rework the order. Kind of want this to be at the bottom, actually. There you go. So now we have this extra depth-ish and uh, it's pretty cool. I'm showing this quick. If you would like the name of the person, uh, you would probably want to put that specific chunk inside of a group with the name so that it moves together. Or, you know, you can say screw it and just put the name of the person also in its own 3D text. Uh, my Twitter handle is at level underscore photo, for example. I'm gonna go with Monsharach Bold. There you go. And now I can right click, paste filters. I just need to place my name so that it fits. It's kind of weird, but you get the point to make it overlap a little bit. And again, it's all in one group. So you can just have that going on for your podcast. We change the background. Now let's copy the group and let's paste a duplicate of the group. I'm gonna keep the same name, but I don't know about you, but I think that looks pretty good. Oh, and guess what? Even your guests, even your guests could have the 3D. That's kind of wild. But yeah, you can you can also set set up your guests to have the 3D effect. Make it kind of thick, a little bit of wiggle. Let me right click, copy this, right click, paste this. Oh yeah, and if you want like um like a border color, you can add the stroke again from the shadow stroke glow plugin. You just need to add the stroke before the effect, and then boom, you have it. And of course, you you're allowed to you know absolutely figure out the size of the, the stroke. But yeah, overall, uh, lots of possibilities. So many possibilities. I'll make sure to put a link in the description so you can download it and try it for yourself. If you have any ideas or any questions about it, um, I'm willing to try new stuff, make more videos about the whole 3D effect. But for now, make sure you subscribe, like the video, share it with your streamer friends, and I'll see y'all next time.